Hey everybody out there, Steve here. Um, so yeah, I've been uh, doing a lot of thinking. I haven't been, uh, I haven't gone live in forever. And uh, one of the other channels I was just watching, uh, Jay Pilon, uh, nice guy, uh, nice channel, and he was live. And I was just like, you know what? I haven't done this in a while, so I figured I'd uh, post up on something I've been thinking about. Um, and the idea that I was thinking about um, and wrestled with for years is uh, teams and fandom. And um, I basically come to the realization that um, I grew up a Met fan. Um, the 80s Mets were, you know, my team. And um, I'm, I'm much more of a player guy. And I like the players. And... Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm attached to Gary Carter, uh, always have been. And um, so the you know, the conundrum was, you know, as a Met fan, do I get enjoyment out of watching Mets games? And, and uh, you know, to be honest with you, the answer in, in a nutshell is no. Um, uh, so I, I've basically come to the idea that uh, I guess I'm in post-fandom. <laughs> And uh, uh, so what I collect in Gary Carter, you know, it's always reminiscent of him and, uh, you know, the teams he played with and on. And um, I can't really get into baseball in the, in the same way. I've never been able to, um, to, to watch the modern game and uh, really enjoy it because, you know, my favorite players are retired and in some cases deceased like Gary. Um, so I will always have a place in my heart for the Mets, of course, but, um, uh, am I a Met fan? I guess not, uh, anymore. I know that's a strange thing for, you know, some people to, uh, to, you know, hear or talk about, but, um, for me, it's more about the player, uh, loyalty to the person. So, um, if we're going to talk about, you know, the 80s Mets that I remember and that I liked and that I grew up with, I, I can't say I remember it, you know, all that well being so young. But uh, those guys are the guys that I remember. And, uh, you know, um, so I'm kind of in this post fandom phase where uh, and I don't think I'll ever really uh, get out of that. So I'm more a fan of the sport. And, um, you know, I still think it's great. I still enjoy, you know, seeing clips and I enjoy, you know, the highlights and, and watching a game when I get a chance to, but, um, I think I'm definitely uh, post fandom now. Um, it's almost like, um, you know, uh, going into the next phase of a life, if you will, of being a fan. So, um, you know, I wore this hat in particular, I got this, uh, Mets box, this tops box, and it came with a little T-shirt of Tim Tuffle. It says the Tuffle Shuffle. It had some patches. It had some pins inside of it, uh, some pennants. It, it was a really cool little box to pick up. And uh, this hat was inside of it. And, um, you know, it's Make the Dream Work from uh, the 86 uh, Let's Go Mets Go uh, music video. And uh, on the back of it, you know, it says 86 with the Mets logo. So, um you know, I, it's not my my, my go to hat, but by the same token, it, it really exemplifies, I guess, where I'm at, and I'm kind of stuck on the uh, the old team, not the new team. Um, and again, going back to the idea, I'm more of a player person than than a team person, if you will, uh, when it came to uh, the Mets themselves. So, um, yeah, I, I don't feel like I have anything to prove or you know to prove to anybody, but uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. You know, um, I don't want to call it realization cause you know, it's, it's trivial, but, uh, the idea of accepting that, uh, the Mets are just another team that, you know, happens to be in my Metro area. I happen to like them above other teams, if you will. But, uh, yeah, I, I wonder if there's anybody out there that relates to that or, um, you know, has a similar experience to that as well. Um, 
But again, I haven't made a video in a while, and I just I figured I'd throw something out there for people to uh, yeah, maybe comment on, or you know, maybe it just resonates with you, and you don't even have to comment. You know what I mean? That that's th this channel is not for generating content; it's more for my experience as a collector and uh, as a fan of Gary Carter. And uh, so, anyway. Um, I hope that, uh, you know, what I said here maybe resonates with one or two other people out there. And uh, um, I'm kind of intrigued to see, you know, what people think about, uh, you know, if you feel the same way, if you've ever been in that boat or if you've, quote unquote, recovered and went back with the team uh, after a given time. I'm, I'm going to be honest. It's just I, I can't really get into the Mets the same way um my guys are all you know gone the the guys that were men when i was a boy they're all you know retired and you know they're out of the game and uh you know then there's some other hang-ups too about you know cheating and 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 scandals with the game um that you know I, i've been saying forever but uh that's kind of where i'm at um I'm, I'm comfortable with that so am i really a mets fan yeah, probably not um, would I prefer them over other teams to make the World Series? Of course. Uh, would I root for the Mets over another team? Of course. Um, but I would also say, you know, I listen to sports talk radio each day in the car to and from work. And, um, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm in the minority on the Mets that uh, I didn't really care for a lot of the pickups that the Mets made um, for, you know, for various reasons. And, um but, uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, I'm kind of indifferent to them as a team, though, as strange as that sounds. Um, if they do well, wonderful. If they don't, I'm not losing any sleep over it. I'm not getting upset about it. You know, it's, it's, it's a sport. It's, you know, it's just supposed to be entertainment and fun. Um, so I'm not going to lose my mind over any of it. But by the same token, uh, it's a nice little um, – it's a nice little uh, retreat to watch a game here and there. So um, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I, I feel like I've, you know, I'm on seven, it's almost seven and a half minutes now. And uh, I don't know if I've really said anything or if I said everything, but uh, yeah, I hope to uh, make some videos in the not too distant future about uh, collection updates, stuff like that. Cause uh, really this channel's become more of a marker for my collection too. Um, you know, how it's grown, you know, what, what how it's evolved, um, you know, what, what I'm, I'm into. Um, I think I've met my objective from last year. I wanted to do a lot more photos last year. And I, I feel like I've I got a nice assortment over the last year. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm real happy. Um, I hope that everybody out there is having fun. Uh, one other thing I did want to mention, if anybody does watch this, um, is uh, I've gotten literally, uh, when I buy Gary Carter items, hey, Vogs, uh, when I get Gary Carter items, I also get a lot of other stuff when I have to buy, you know, I'm looking for the one item, but you have to get a bunch of items in order to get the one item. So I... I I now have a bunch of items um, in this stack right here. It's been mainly photos and mini poster type items. Uh, just to show you a cross smattering, um, you know, I, I got postcards of Ray Fossey, you know, uh, Lou Brock, you know, just in a in a assortment of things I picked up, you know, Buddy Bell. So there's just you know a cross smattering of people. I got Ted Williams here. Uh, I guess in a Montreal grouping, I got uh, got some cool ones here. Um, it's already signed. Uh, but the bottom line is, um, you know, these are guys I don't really collect. But uh, yeah, Vogs, uh, I'm sure that they've come out with new stuff. I'm not on the cutting edge of uh, the newer items, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm really trying to shore up the playing the playing year stuff. Um, so I'll, uh, that's an ever uh, evolving thing. Um, but definitely I've slowed down in items from the playing years because, you know, 
I have a lot of it. There, there's obvious things that I don't have, and there's obvious things that uh, um, I don't think I'll ever be close to being done with the player run logs. Uh, it's just there's there's just too much. Um, and then if you want to exponentially then say, all right, what about um, f- printing photos and uh, blank fronts, blank backs, uh, you know, it, it, if you want to go in that direction, you know, your collection could quadruple or, you know, go tenfold, you know, and, and literally an exponential jump uh, as each card could have photo variations of, you know, just uh, what I mean by that is, there's just so many variations of the photo itself, you know, and then the the negative, the positive photos, you know, for, especially for older cards. So uh, we could really go crazy with that one if you really uh, wanted to. And I I think (laughs) my collection has gone in that direction. Um, But uh, you know, having plus or minus 300 plus or 300 minus, I should be sitting somewhere around the 25 to 2,800 cards in my collection of just unique items. Um, and I think if you went out to trading card database, um, that's not, I don't even think that's 50% of what's out there, but um, keep in mind, I'm also counting things like uh, variations, like blank fronts, blank backs, uh, which aren't necessarily part of the, what trading card database would say is or is not, uh, in the uh, the player run, if you will, but I'm counting them. And then there's miscuts and, you know, stuff like that, that I'm counting in the uniques that, uh, you know, another a purist might say mm, they, they don't count. But, you know, that's, that's where I'm at. But uh, what I'm driving at with the, you know, the extra stuff is, um, you know, it's, I'm thinking in, particularly in mind of, um, you know, Caleb, and, uh, you know, I know who does a lot of TTM, um, you know, if, if he's interested in this stuff, I, I can send a lot of stuff to him, just give it to him and say, here, man, see what you can get out of this and, and keep it, um, you know, because I, I think some of this stuff might be cool for, you know, a TTM or to just have and, and use uh, toward their goals of getting more TTMs and unique TTMs and maybe some of this stuff, you um, you know, would help toward that end for uh, the guys who do the TTMs and stuff like that. Um, because for me, um, I, I don't, I don't intermingle these things into, uh, uh, I don't intermingle these things into my collection. So they're, they're outside of where I store my stuff. And then I have stacks of cards. I'm, I'm building guys. I promise you there, there's a lot of people on my list that I want to get uh, some items to, um, but I'm waiting on um, really making it worthwhile to get the envelope stuffed and uh, sent out. But uh, there's a lot of people I'd like to really send some some good stuff to. Um, but it's it's it gets harder and harder as I don't. Uh... Um, yeah, I mean, Vogs, you just have to tell me, you know, if there's you know players or something you're you're particularly looking for, and if I have a match, yeah, I could definitely send you stuff. Um, I don't have a lot of it, but I have enough of it that I might be able to accommodate a player or two here or there. Um, I think you're a Yankees guy. I don't really have much Yankees hanging around, but uh, you know, like for instance, I have this Roy White, a coach. Uh, that might be something, you know, that a Yankee fan would be interested in getting a TTM on uh, Brad Armsburg. Again, I, I don't know what the interest is, uh, but uh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't have, uh, you know, I, I don't really have, if I'm going to, if I'm going to collect a player, I, I'm with you. I like judge, you know, I have a couple of his items that, you know, I, I like Judge as a player. I like him as a person. So, uh, you know, I try to I try to get like cheaper items of him. I'm not going after signatures. I'm not going after numbered cards or anything like that. But I have a couple items of Judge. That that's something I would keep um, and really put uh, uh, really aside, maybe for my kids or something like that uh, if I can get them into the game. Um, but uh, you know, I'm talking like the stuff I would have to be able to get out to guys like Caleb would be, you know, older items like this where, you know, he might actually look for the TTMs of these guys. Um, But yeah, 
that's really that's that's more of what I'm talking about. Hey, Kyle, what's going on, man? Uh, I'd love to go to a game, but uh, in the, in the near future, I have nothing nothing planned. Uh, I'd have to see if you know my brothers want to go or if my uh, my buddies in the area want to go. But uh, yeah, that's 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 highly contingent. And then you know you got I got three little kids, so it makes that a little bit more difficult. Um, but do I have any uh, signed bats? No, I have uh, I have player owned jerseys of Gary Carter. Uh, I don't have any signed bats or anything like that. Um, a couple of hats signed. Um, I have, you know, owned items like owned. I have an owned uh, windbreaker of the San Francisco Giants that Gary owned. I have stuff like that. Um, it doesn't have a signature on it, but it does have the Telltale 8 um, stenciled in with a Sharpie on the inside uh, um maintenance tag on the back uh, on the back collar so you know you there's a lot of things that that you know say it, it was his and you know i have letters of provenance things like that vogs but um yeah so uh you know the message also goes out to people out there that you know if you're doing ttm um I, what what am i chasing now to be honest with you there's nothing there's nothing out there that i i need and i use that term need very loosely um that's cool kyle yeah see that stuff like that's nice um and you got to meet the player too at the same you know i think that that's cool you know i, I like that um but yeah i think he's a great ambassador for the game judges and uh if i was gonna say do i have a current favorite player it'd, it'd be aaron judge he's a i get to you know see and hear about him on a daily uh being that you know he's in my market so um yeah no i think he's i think that's that's wonderful uh good for you man uh if i can get if i can get my kids to a signing or uh you know get to somewhere where uh you know aaron is aaron's gonna be um that'd be a nice thing to do but uh you know i'm not plotting anything to uh to get to a signing and stuff like that so uh, it'd have to be more serendipitous, like it, it just so happened to be local, and I was in the area, and I was able to get there, you know, something like that. But uh, no, he seems like a cool dude. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I'm not. Vogs, I, I, I got to say, there's nothing on the bay that I'm like, I got to have that. Um, you know, when you say you need something, it's not, you know, it's not food, water, shelter. It's just... It's nice to have it, but right now there's just really nothing floating out there that I say I really sh I really want to go after that. So, um, my main focus has been you know picking up items like that I can hang as wall art and stuff like that uh, in a hypothetical proposed you know if I could someday have like a quote unquote man cave or a, a spot where I can put my cards out you know and shelve them and stuff like that. Um, that's really where my mind is, uh, prepping for the future, if you will. Um, you know, an empty nest where I could have a card room. Um, that's really where my head's at with, uh, my collection right now is, uh, you know, stuff that I could really hang up on a wall and, uh, make a room feel like a, you know, a nice card room, something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that. There's nothing. There's nothing that I'm, I'm thinking like, oh, I need that. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm I'm happy that that's great. I think it's great that you ask the questions, keep the conversation moving. Uh, thank you so much for that. But um, yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm I'm happy where I'm at. I think the hobby's healthy. Um, I'd love to be able to get to the Chicago National this year see if I can make that happen. My wife's got family out there. So, you know, it might be fun family and friends to visit them out there and uh, get to the show. But um, from my experience from the Atlantic City show, there's not going to be a lot of items that I look at and say, you know, um, I want that. I, having gone to the Atlantic City one, there was very few items I was interested in. And um, a lot of the sellers too are they're they're asking on some of these things was a little ridiculous and you just have to be willing to say nah I don't want that um, you know as somebody who collects you you know your prices you know what you're looking at you know 
uh, what's overpriced, what's what's value pricing and stuff like that. So I'm I'm comfortably at the at the point where you know eh, I don't I don't I don't need any of it. So that's where I'm at. Uh, no, I mean again, I, the only show I've ever been to is the National. Um, as strange as that sounds, that was my first show. That was my only show I've ever been to. Um, and there's there's a show around here. I think it's once a month or once every other week in Parsippany. And I'm sure that there's something there, but uh, I've never I've never gone. It, it's a work night with little kids in the house too. It's not you know something that um, I really take seriously to go to. But maybe if I was retired and and had time on my hands, yeah, may, maybe we're more likely to to you know to check that out. But uh, that's a good distance away. Uh, for me right now. But um, yeah, it, that's, that's kind of where my head's at. My head's at the uh, like the um, having a setting up like a visually in my head, seeing like what a room would look like uh, framing things and uh, you know, putting them into frames and, and hanging them on the wall. Like that's kind of where my head's at and uh, maybe buying a, a case or something like that where I could, you know, glass case that's UV protected or something like that eventually someday and just putting some cards in there or, you know, just laying them out on a shelf or something and uh, just really enjoying it. And maybe, you know, maybe if, you know, the day, you know, the day comes that I'm able to retire, um, I could do more, more content like this and I could, you know, I could do more, I could be more flexible. Um, but yeah, uh, my main thought was really on, on like fandom and like where I'm at with, with my, my personal fandom and uh, I think that uh, I'm not really a Met fan anymore. I'm more of a baseball fan. And it's never going to be the same thing for me anymore because my guys are all, they're, they're all retired or, or unfortunately deceased. So, um, yeah, yeah. So that's that's kind of where I'm at. And, um, you know, I'm at the 22-minute mark. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm very pleased. And thank you very much you know, for popping in and, and saying hello to me and, um, you know, supporting the channel, you know, just by being here. But, um, you know, again, I, I know I don't make many videos very much anymore. Um, but uh, it's a nice, it's a nice hobby within the hobby to be part of this community. Um, I'm not as active as, uh, you know, most other people anymore. Um, but I still very much enjoy it. I still, you know, I'm still keeping up looking at videos. Even if I don't comment, I'm watching a lot of videos that people are creating. I'm having fun with it. Um, I really do, you know, I really do enjoy seeing what people are, are getting into and, and collecting and, and what they have to show for, you know, recent pickups. And I think that's great. And I'm happy. The thing, the thing that I like is I'm happy for the people being happy. And, you know, I'm happy when when they get something that, you know, you could tell that, that they're excited about what they have. And, uh, you know, a lot of my attention is focused on player collections and, you know, what, uh, you know, people that that do what I do. They build up a play, a, you know, a player collection. Um, I'm always interested in that stuff. And I find that fascinating that then, uh, you know, it stokes interest in me. And I say, oh, you know, uh is there one of Gary that I, that that I'm unaware of? And, you know, it, it builds awareness for me uh, in what's out there, particularly with the newer stuff. And, I, you know, I'm not going to chase the newer stuff. I always find that I'm about four or five years behind on newer stuff. Like I'll, you know, I'm uh, there was a period of time when I was like, oh, let me see. Let me see if I can clean up on 04 and 05 stuff, you know, that I don't have. And uh, so I'm kind of what, like 15 years behind the curve on uh, four or five years. I'm like 15 years behind, 16, 17 years behind the curve on uh, a lot of that stuff. And um, there's one year I, I have literally nothing. I don't have anything from 2007. I don't have one card from 2007. And uh, every year I'm saying, is this the year I get one thing from 2007? And it just never seems to happen. But um, there's stuff out there, but, I, you know, I just don't, I don't need it. So I don't really uh, chase it. And, um, you know, the, the, for me, there's also the visually appealing aspect of things, too. Um, I find that a lot of the more modern cards are just not as visually appealing to me as the older cards are. I like the, the gritty photography of the older cards and 
um, the newer cards are, you know, there's a lot of flash on them and, you know, a lot of different colors going on and shininess. None of that does anything for me, but um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. And I'm, I'm again, I, I'm just happy for it. I'm, I'm excited with it. Um, I always love to pick up stacks of, uh, you know, cards that I already have, you know, like I feel like a little kid again, when you get like a stack of 88 score, you know, that, that to me is fun. And, uh, I, I know I have more than anybody even deserves to have, um, you know, in terms of volume of cards, but, uh, uh, I find that to be very fun and fulfilling to even just pick up multiples of cards, you know, at, at a fair price. I, I that's what I like. And, uh, I don't know. I, I think part of card collecting is being a kid to a certain degree, you know, um, and I know other people, you know, like the, uh, the new stuff and that's, uh, that's great. You know, I, I'm excited to see what people, what people are collecting and, and it's just nice to, it's just nice to see nice things. And, uh, I guess the bigger part is just seeing people happy, happy with the, the stuff, you know, it's, for me, it's fulfilling to see the videos when you, you just know people are excited about it. And, uh, you know, you go to the different, uh, you know, I'm very much active in, um, several auctions. I, you know, I'd point out Mike O on Tuesdays, always a fun time, uh, some cool cards going on there, um. And, uh, you know, you got Jimmy Guns, who usually does Saturdays. He did Friday this past uh, Eloy, the goat, um, usually Fridays. Always a fun. You'll find me in there, you know, checking that stuff out and, uh, you know, seeing what uh, what's going on there. And uh, I, I find that I find it interesting too, just just see like the online auctions of, uh, you know, uh, when you're on YouTube and seeing people just picking up stuff, you know, uh, player collections and team collections. And, you know, again, I don't begrudge anybody, any of that. I think that's really fun. And it's really cool. And, um, I think that's, that's where I'm at with, with the YouTube community thing. I'm just happy to, to see everybody happy. I, I don't know how else to put it. And then, you know, a lot of guys are doing a lot of nice things too. Um, you know, whether it be, you know, for charity, I know Jimmy does a lot of charity, and uh, he's a real nice guy. And, uh, you know, Mike O is, is always, you know, he's always given a nice deal on stuff. So, you know, Eloy as well, you know, what, what a heart of gold that guy has. And, uh, you know, I, I also feel very kindred to Eloy as well. He's just, uh, he's a teacher like me. And uh, he's just, these are genuine people. They're, they're good people. They're nice people. And uh, I'd really love, I got to meet Eloy in person, real good dude. And uh, I was going to, I was going to stay over at the house that they had rented uh, in Atlantic city, but I'm going to be honest with you. Call me a, call me a homebody. I, I, I really missed my family. I know as crazy as that sounds, I was only gone for a few hours. And then the thought of staying out a couple of days away from them, I, I don't know. I, I guess I just, I missed them. And I just, you know, I, my, my, my son called me when I was on the floor at, uh, Atlantic city. And, uh, I just, I missed him, you know, I, I missed my other kids, you know, that were in the background saying hello and stuff. And I, I just wanted to be back home. I, I don't know. I, I felt bad, you know, I didn't want the guys to think I didn't want to be with them, but it was definitely more of a, I'm definitely more of a homebody. And, uh, um, yeah, so I think if I go to the National in Chicago, I'll have my family there so it won't feel as detached, as, as crazy as that sounds. We'll be in Chicago, but we'll all be together in the city as opposed to just me being down in Atlantic City away from them. So that might be a more fulfilling experience for me um, as a person that I can I can be closer to the family and just know, hey, I'm not going to be out all, all, you know, all day and uh, all night away from them. Um, yeah, I did get some, some items from the national, um, one of the, I guess the most unique item I got was, um, it was like a pencil and ink, um, drawing that, uh, an artist had done with a page of Gary Carter. He also had other pages of other players, but, uh, it's like the actual page. I don't know. Maybe it was in a magazine or something like that, but I got the artist, uh, let's call it the proof page that he would make to be distributed and mass produced. 
and uh, whoever whoever made it or whoever got it afterward eventually got it signed by Gary. I could tell it was an authentic signature just by looking at it. At this point, I can at this point I can legitimately call myself an expert on Gary's signatures. And um, you know, some of them are some of them. When you look at them, you're like, I don't know. It could have been done in haste by Gary, maybe at a at uh, you know at the stadium. So I kind of give a little bit of leeway on some of the un un uh, authenticated stuff but sometimes you could just tell it's clearly not real um and then i was thinking about making a video it's funny it's funny you uh that triggers another thought i wanted to do a video on early signatures uh mid signatures and late signatures because you can clearly see uh you know i'll just i have to use my point of reference gary carter you can definitely see uh, when it's an early signature, there's a certain pattern to it. And again, I thought about making a video about that. Um, and then there's like the mid signatures where, you know, Sharpie started coming more into play. And then there's the late signatures where you can start to see characteristics of how it's signed, um, you know, changing over time. But uh, yeah, I thought about doing a video on that. But back to the back to the point, you, you can you can tell if you've collected a player long enough and you have enough reference that you could see when something's real and when it's not real uh, or authentic, maybe is the better way to put it. Um, But uh, yeah, that's, that's it. I mean, uh, that's where I'm at. Uh, I really wish I made more videos more frequently. Um, But as I always say, you know, as I get close to the summers, I can get more active. And then when I get to the summers, I'm not as active as I wanted to be, at least for the past, I can say that for at least the past three summers. Um, So I'd really love to get a little bit more active um, making content. Um, But, you know, again, it's not, I'm not making videos to make content per se. It's more logging where I'm at and what's going on in my collection and what's going on in, uh, you know, my end of the hobby. But um, it's always great to see people, you know, stop in, say hello. I, I understand it's a work night and, you know, uh, people, you know, people might be turned in for the evening. And, uh, you know, that's that's I get that. But uh, yeah, I, I hope that, uh, you know, some of my thoughts maybe resonate with people. Maybe, you know, if people that, that rewatch or see the video that aren't familiar with, you know, um, the uh, auctions that Mike O does, that Eloy does, that Jimmy does. Maybe maybe this is a point of, of a jumping stone to get to them on the nights that they're live. And I, I think you'd have a lot of fun, meet a lot of nice people. And that's a very giving community. Um, it's, it's just, it, it's wonderful. Um, like, I guess the last video I did, uh, Eloy just out of nowhere sent me uh, a signed check by Gary Carter. It was just amazing. Um, and he just sent it, um, and it blew me away. But uh, like I said, these are good people, and uh, you can't go wrong, you know, bumping into them and, and talking with them. And, uh, um, you know, it's just, it's wonderful. So I guess, you know, my message out there initially was, uh, I guess I'm in post-fandom on the Mets, and I'm kind of stuck with the 86 team and the late eighties and mid eighties teams. That's kind of where my fandom stops with them, I suppose. And I guess I've always tried to recapture that and it just always falls short. So that's where I'm at to, to resummarize the beginning of the video. And um, I don't know, are there people out there like, like that, that have a similar experience? I'd love to be able to, to know and uh, you know, uh, see if people comment, if they, they agree, disagree, um, but yeah, I, I guess I'm I'm the same way in football. Uh, ever since Peyton Manning retired, I, I just I have no team that I can say you know I really want to get behind. I guess more in football, there's less invested for me, where I, I you know I didn't I don't collect Peyton Manning or anything like that. I have a couple of his cards. If I if I come across something that's like dirt cheap, sure that, that's cool. But um, I'm not going out of my way to collect Peyton Manning. So. In football, I guess I could be more inclined to be attached to a particular team simply because I don't have investment in people on the team. Um, but uh, I guess vicariously now, my wife uh, watches more of the Giants, so I guess I'm more more of a Giants guy 
um, on the football front. But uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with uh, football. But uh, baseball is more to the heart. And I think because it's more to the heart, um, it's uh, maybe it, it, it just hits differently. And um, in some weird way, I have less of a heart um, in the modern sport than I do for the, the past. So that's where I'm at. Um, I, I have no qualms about wearing a, you know, a Yankee item. You know, I, I, I know my brothers and, and my friends would say, what are you doing? You know, you're wearing the other team, but by the same token, um, I feel like I'm not, I'm not sinning because, uh, my, my allegiance with the Mets kind of stops with the breakup of that team around, you know, 19 at the end of the 1989 season, the, the more and the more and more I look at it. Um, cause my guys aren't there anymore. And, uh, the guys I grew up with all, you know, basically went into free agency at the end of that season and the 1990 Mets is transitional and that it didn't have a lot of those guys that I grew up with anymore. And certainly after 91, you, know, you don't have, uh, after 90, you don't have Daryl strawberry there anymore. Um, so it really wasn't the same team I grew up with. So 1989 is kind of like the break where I'm like, it's just not the same. It's not the same home, uh, anymore. Um, I'm very much like that. Um, when I like something, I like it. I stay with it. Um, after the familiarity is gone, you kind of lose me a little bit on that. So anyway, I, I hope that, uh, I hope everybody's well out there. I hope everybody's, um, you know, healthy. I, I hope everybody's enjoying their lives and I hope everybody's enjoying the hobby and, uh, nothing but love, uh, coming out of here to you and to everybody that, that may come across this video. I, I really hope, um, you know, everything goes well that you want. I hope everybody's healthy. I hope your families are doing well and healthy. And, uh, um, who knows, maybe I'll make another video in the short term, but, um, yeah, maybe I, I really thought my next video would be showing early, mid, late signatures of Gary and, um, maybe getting some people to, you know, look at their own player collections and say, ah, this is an early, this is a mid, this is a late, or, you know, something like that. Just, just basically more of thought. And, uh, anyway, uh, wow. I I've, uh, I've really stretched this out to be almost 40 minutes and, uh, I didn't have any intention of that, but, uh, I thank you for, you know, I thank those that stopped in and you know, even for people that didn't comment. Thank you. And, um, I hope everybody be well and stay safe and um yeah continue being happy and uh collect how you want to collect who you want to it's it's your call it's your hobby and um i do think that the prices are gonna are gonna stabilize again we had that big peak and uh now i think the prices are coming back down and i think you know i think it'll become more affordable to the everyday collector again but uh, enjoy it uh have fun with it do whatever you want to do with it. And um, I guess I'll talk to everybody another time, but feel free to comment and um, be well, everybody. All right. Thanks guys for stopping in. Boggs, I know that you've been here from start to finish. Thank you so much. And uh, you guys have yourselves a wonderful evening and uh, an even better day tomorrow. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.